Good afternoon guys, we are back at my home park, Hershey Park. It's been well over a week since I've been here, so I'm sure that there's been some progress with Chocolate Town and Candemonium, so we're going to check that out first, and we're just going to have a day at Hershey Park, because why not? Because I haven't done that in a while. So let's have a look around. So right off the bat, this building has come a very long way, as well as this one over here. Okay, so these two pillars here, I remember that they were blue before, but seeing but behind, right behind it is the same thing, so it looks like that is the molding for the concrete pillars, so that answers that question. And something is going there. I'm not sure what that is, but that was not here last time. Interesting. And the station right up ahead for Candemonium. More progress there, it looks like some of the roof is now there, more building structure. The track, I think there was that much track last time. It might be a little bit longer. There may be another additional part since I was last here. From what I can see, that is the only track that we got right now. Just the brake run. Just looking at this, I'm pretty sure this section right here was not here last time. I think it was just this section before. So I'm going to go ahead and say that there was an extra piece of track added since I was last here. Having a look on this side, I don't think this wall was here. Or at least it wasn't that tall. That does not look familiar to me at all. And here's a better view of the buildings more towards where the entrance is going to be. So as, as you can see, there are rooftops to these buildings now. And looks like over there, some more wall structures. I don't recall seeing that last time either. And this pile of rubble here is smaller. I would assume the rubble that was on the top part is now here. So there's a quick update on the construction of Chocolate Town and Canamonium. Since I was here, it's been about a week and a half or so, so they're making pretty good progress so far. And I think progress will only get faster from here on out. So, for the rest of our day here, it's like 4 o'clock now, I think. Let's just have a day at Hershey Park. Well, Skyrush has got a short wait, so let's go on Skyrush. So this is Sky Rush twice. Um, the second row and third row, so I know a lot of people complain about the restraints crushing your thighs. I mean, yeah, it does. <laughs> My best advice though, try to get more towards the front and get a wing seat if you can. You get less crushed in those as compared to the back rows, because I did back row on this last most yeah, and it really crushed me in the back row compared to the front row. Head over to Super Duper Looper next. And as always, Super Duper Looper, it's a classic. Can't go wrong with it. It's a very good family coaster, good for little kids who want to try their first living coaster. Very smooth too. Whatever the new trains are on them, they're wonderful. I wonder who built them, because Schwarz Cult has been out of business for quite a while now, so maybe Vacoma? I don't know.
So for years I thought front row on Wildcat was the smoothest ride. I just did back row just to try it out. I think back row is a little bit smoother. Still rough though, I mean, any row on that ride is going to be a rough ride. <laughs> Everything about the coasters is rough, but it's still not like overbearingly rough. At least in my opinion, I know a lot of other people think otherwise. But give back row a shot, I think that's the smoothest ride on Wildcat. That was actually my first time ever doing the pressure triple tower. I actually liked it. Not many free falls actually do the upward launch and the free fall too, so it was kind of cool. It wasn't too forceful. I'm not complaining because I'm not the biggest fan of free falls to begin with, but still pretty good though. What is that noise? It's so loud! One thing I'm noticing. The crowds are manageable earlier today. Ever since the water park closed, it's been super crowded. So I'm gonna test a theory here. I've been in Comet Hollow, a mass section of the park, for a few hours now, and it's been more crowded over there since the boardwalk closed. So I'm gonna head back towards Midway America and towards the boardwalk area and see maybe that area cleared up a little bit more. Let's find out. Let's head towards Wildcat. Let's do that again. All right, let's see how much of a weight Wildcat has. This is seriously the longest weight I have ever seen for this ride in my life. This flips my nugget. I did it like middle row on that, I think sixth row. That was very painful. So, if you ride Wildcat, do front or back. Don't ride in the middle. Spare yourself. It goes back. The life of Wildcat is the longest I've seen it all day, and then the longest I've seen it in years. You would think that we have the photo booths open by this point. Nope. Also, gotta keep in mind, every time I've come here this year was on a weekday. It's a Sunday night, so technically it's a weekend. So, I should expect high crowds. I think I've only done lap track once since it's open. And it was during Halloween time, so they had all the lights and they're turned off, so it's pitch black. I don't care to ride it again, honestly, especially if I, if I have to wait over an hour. It's like a 90 minute wait for it right now, which, no, not happening. From one GCI to another, let's see if there's a wait for Lightning Racer. I see movement up there, so it's kind of promising. Okay, sort of a wait, but not bad. I find it interesting that most of the track was not lit up. I wonder if a circuit blew or something. Doesn't matter, it's just lighting. It's still fun. Even more fun in the dark. Alright, so my theory of 
Midway America being less crowded after the boardwalk closes? Not true. Don't do it. Well, it doesn't really matter where you are. The whole park is going to be crowded once boardwalk closes. So I'm going to head back towards Common Hollow. I want to try to get on Great Bear at least once. Then maybe end off the day with Sky Rush. I'm actually going to do something I've never done before and do the kissing tower at night. I'm not the only one on this ride. There's two firsts for me at once. Doing the kissing tower at night and by myself. That's cool. All right, Great Bear's line is very short, so I will go on that and run to Sky Rush. Roar. Well, I'm glad I was able to ride Great Bear. It's my favorite ride at the park. So I'm gonna go finish off the day with a night ride on Sky Crush. Sorry, Sky Crush. Oh, sorry, Sky Rush. So I just had some kid run into me because he was running full force towards something. Don't run in parks, children. It's not safe. I was this close from being the last train on Sky Rush. I was literally like 10 seconds too late. I just did it just once. So at least I got it once. I was hoping to get it done two more times before the park closed, but I don't know. I got plenty done today though, so I can't complain. All right, I'm joined with Kentucky Coastal Clubs with Brian and Anita. How'd you guys like the park today? Uh, incredible, it was our first visit to Hershey Park. Uh, we were able to come in, we got about three to five rides on everything. Uh, customer service is incredible. Uh, Sky Rush, one of the most intense hypers I've ridden. The injector is ridiculous. Uh, one of my new top five favorite parks. Awesome, man. How'd you like it? I had fun, yeah. Okay, this is funny. The last ride on Comet, it's all ride ops. That is hilarious. Woo! Me too. Alright, well, this concludes our day at Hershey Park. I had a fantastic day here. I got way more than I expected to get done today because I knew the crowds were going to be pretty heavy today being the weekend. But still, um, Ryan from Post, can you help me out here? So that's what I got done. So, not bad. Given that I got here at 4 p.m. I also got to run into Kentucky Coastal Club. Subscribe to them on YouTube and Instagram. I'll put links in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, ride on.